Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Yet another episode here with a and &E Du Bruges with a &E and Estelle. Uh, we just thought we'd give you a little update on what's been happening. Uh, we've only got, I think probably less than 24 hours on our two current uh, Painter 2.1s doing the brew. Oh, there's Estelle. Hi Estelle. Yeah, hello. Because those nice just been. I think it. What would this could be? What would this could be? So yeah, we ordered this. Uh, oh, let's start it. So, oh, there's a little box in it. Scissors, please. I think I'm going to have it. Yeah, you have a box. Yeah. So, uh, as I said, update what's been happening with probably less than 24 hours now to go on Big Dipper and Space Hopper and we've put a poll out and as we've said in the previous video it was agreed to just leave them as they are let them brew see what pressures they get to and see if that's enough to uh, make it nice and fizzy and actually get the beers out of the keg. <laughs> now we always thought that we, we, we didn't need pressure gauges anymore mm. we thought everything was fixed but it certainly looks like uh, still gonna need them. we're still going to need them because the previous pounder, pound two, had too much pressure and we needed to get it down. But it was it was a trade secret as to what that pressure would be. But do you know what the new one is? Twenty six. See, even Stella knows. Uh, I mean, even I know. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Ralph had been on, and Ralph said that he divulged that after lots and lots of research. 26 PSI was their daily brewing pressure. And now it looks like Pinter 2.1 doesn't have anywhere near 2. 26 PSI at setting 2. So, uh, what do you think? We promised everybody, didn't we? Mm -hmm. That we could get Rupert to, to show everybody how to, to make this. Yes, yeah, from scratch. So, hold on. Shall okay, so I give him a ring? I know it's, it's the weekend. Shall so I give him a ring? I think he'd be happy to help you today. Hold on, we're giving around. Hi Rupert, it's Eddie here. Uh, yeah, sorry for ringing you the weekend, but um, yeah, but the uh, the gauge just arrived in. Any any chance you can come in? I'll pay you overtime. I, I would create a beer. Well, okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, we've, we've nothing ready in the powder yet, but I'll, I'll get you some off the shelf stuff. What about that? Okay, right, right, right. Yep. See you soon. Cheers. Bye, 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 bye. So, so Ralph, uh, Rupert's going to come in and Rupert's going to show you guys how to make your own gauge. And once he's done that, we've already got a couple. So, on the channel, uh, if you hit like, most of you are subscribers anyway, but to win it, you've got to like, subscribe, and. How are you going to pick people? I'm just going to do it at random. I think we did it before, remember, with the, the Undaily thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that thing. That thing. That thing. <laughs> uh, I can't remember the name of it. What no, was the it? leak. It was a leak thing. No, it was leak. the Dial thing that Painter, or 3D Prince and I made for us. Yeah, for unreleasing Painter 1. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we'll just do it at random. Uh, uh, you just need to put in, put in the comments, Rupert. And we'll pick with somebody at random and we'll, we'll post this out to you. I'll get your address off you. I'll PM you and we'll send this out to you once he gets it done. Happy days. So if you want to just pause it, honey. We'll, uh, in fact, I hear Rupert might be pulling up in the drive. He wouldn't be here that quick. Oh, he might. Yeah. It's probably Give him 10 minutes. Something else. Hi all. Uh, Rupert here. It's the weekend and unfortunately I've had to dash in to the office to try and help out Katie and Estelle who rang me earlier. Uh, and obviously the temptation of overtime and a glass of mass-produced lager sold it to me. So I want to say thanks, thanks, thanks to Aideen Estelle and I'm super excited to be sharing the making of a pressure gauge with all here in ANA Du Bruges and all our followers. So, items you will need. One pressure gauge. We are uh, easily sourced on Amazon Took a couple of days, 13 pound 60. Eddie will put a link down below. So if this is the one you want to buy, it's quite cheap. Uh, go ahead, feel free. You also need a used hopper bottle. Personally, I like to use Winter Sun. 
because it smells delicious. Couple of drill bits, starting off with something quite small, a uh, mil and a half, maybe two, something a bit bigger. This one is eight mil, and a little sort of router device to increase the size of the hole prior to inserting your pressure gauge. You will also need some form of heat. It doesn't have to be a blowtorch. I'm just lucky enough to have one. So here we go, let's get straight in. So initially start off, uh, Painter, God bless them in their wisdom. There is already a little guide hole right at the bottom. So just plonk that in there, obviously making sure that you're wearing your safety glasses. A pair of gloves might also be nice, but I've done this many times, so I should be fine. So we will just fill that down through. Creates a, a hole for the new drill bit to go into. The good thing is the plastic is not very brittle. It's uh, excellent for drilling into. So we'll just increase the size of the lower. I will probably hold on to that a bit tighter. There we go. There we go. Nothing like losing your hand on a Saturday morning. I wouldn't be super grateful for that. We'll change it out now to the router bit. As you can see, this is all being done live. That now should get to the stage where we should be able to get that started. I'll do that a little bit more. You'll move yourself. You'll know yourself when you get to a certain stage where you'll be able to start the thread scraping on the plastic bottle. I think I'll just have one more sip before I continue. Set that out of the way. We get a bit of heat. It does need to be terribly warm, just enough to get the plastic started. So that was enough to get the plastic started so you could then get it threaded down in. We will leave that to chill for a little minute. It's a little bit squiffy, but that won't matter. As long as it threads in. Excellent. That's good. Perfect. Let that cool. Give it two or three wraps of PTFE tape because although the thread and that, as it were molten, will have joined in, two or three wraps of that on your uh, pressure gauge and you're good to go. That's us done. So, as Eddie said, uh, leave my name as a comment down below. Please like and subscribe. We will do. Uh, the draw once these are finished and we do our next video to announce both the winner and the results of how our brews have gone on. Uh, thanks for joining me here at the weekend and I can't look forward to seeing you next week. Bye from Rupert.